What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna look at a really cool technique for creating really creative hero banner section designs in Squarespace. So today we're gonna be looking at two different hero designs that you can do with this technique. The first one I'm gonna call the blob. It's just kind of this nice little blob shape. It, it you see it a lot on like more tech oriented websites. Uh, it's a really cool design and I'll show you guys how to do that. And then the other one is this uh, banner overlay. And I also have it on this tech design website, but it's a really cool effect because it looks like the laptop here and the cell phone and the watch are overlaying into the next section, but it's actually just a trick uh, that is done with the background banner image. Now, both of these are fully responsive as well. So if I just drag down the screen size here, uh, you can see it looks really good on all devices uh, and same with the other effect as well. So the way that I do this is actually, uh, I started in Photoshop and the way that I did it is I just created this kind of amorphous blob type shape and then I filled it with the color that I wanted and I made sure that the background color was the same color as the next section that was going to be below it. Uh, and then the same for this other hero banner. I have my background image and then I just made sure that the solid color on the bottom was the same color as the next section below it. And when you bring it into Squarespace, if I edit the section here, you'll see the background image. I've dragged the focal point to the very bottom. So that's really the crux of this technique. Um, when you drag the focal point to the bottom of the image, it'll always prioritize the bottom. And so if I drag that up to the center, um, you can see that the, you lose the effect. Um, and so the way that you can make sure that your blob is always on the screen is by dragging the focal point to the very bottom. And so it doesn't matter what device you're on, it'll always show the bottom of the image. And since the background of your image and the background of the next section are the same color, it looks totally seamless. And it looks like the first section kind of has this nice like custom design to it. So uh, it's, it's the most simple technique ever, um, but it creates a really cool effect. And so I did the same thing with this background image as well. If I edit the background, I've just dragged the focal point to the very bottom. And that ensures that this solid banner um, is always visible at the bottom of the website and it'll never crop out of view. So even when we go down to mobile, we get this nice overlay effect between the two sections. So it's a really easy way to create more depth and layers to your website. And it's a no code approach. So I highly, highly recommend utilizing this technique on your own websites. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Just a quick tip for you today. If you wanna learn more about how background banners respond on different devices, I have a video that I'm gonna link in the card somewhere. And I highly recommend checking out that, uh, that video because it explains in more detail why this technique works to always keep the bottom in frame. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more Squarespace techniques to become a better Squarespace web designer, please consider subscribing to this channel. And that's it for me. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.